It's kind of nice that it happens to be snowing while I'm here. Hey folks, it is Wednesday, December the 8th. The time right now is 12.30 p.m. and the temperature is around minus three degrees Celsius. And this here is River Street. And there's a look towards King Street East. And a look back at where King Street comes to an end and merges into Queen Street East. And just under that viaduct there will lead you down to Bayview Avenue. And as you can tell, it is snowing. So for this one, I'll head south down River Street here and we'll check out Underpass Park. Then I'll swing through the Canary District. And I think I'll then head over to the Distillery District. So this is the east end of downtown. There goes a 121 bus. I think that'll be making its way over to the Esplanade. And coming up is Underpass Park. And just beyond that, some of the towers in the Canary District. Eastern Avenue, just up above here. And there's some basketball courts just off to the east. And this is a popular spot for skateboarders. And you'll often see fitness classes being held here, things like yoga, and people working out with personal trainers. And that's a look north, up Lower River Street. North of King, it becomes River. And you can take that up into Cabbage Town. You know what? I'm gonna put the camera down for just a second here and throw some gloves on. It was kind of silly of me to start recording without gloves, but it didn't feel that cold.
or someone putting generous amounts of salt on the ground. They probably work for this condo right here. Nobody wants to be liable for a trip and fall. And that is the building owner's responsibility. And there's the old Dominion Foundry. That's been the source of a lot of controversy. The city of Toronto had declared it to be a heritage property. And then the province rolled in with its wrecking balls and it took an effort from a lot of local residents and a few city councillors and some other organizations to put a stop to it. And I'm not really sure what's going on with that property right now. And coming up is the Corktown Common Park. That's the southern terminus of Bayview Avenue. Well, I guess that is actually a few blocks to the south of here. This is where Bayview comes to an end. And there is the start of Front Street. And this is a former industrial landscape. There's a number of reasons why the park is so special on that board. I've seen some rabbits hopping about in there before. Could take a quick detour through the park. There's a pond area. And way off in the distance, it is the financial district. You can't really see the skyline from here with all the fog. And most of this development came to be as part of the 2015 Pan Am Games. A lot of these condos served as athlete housing. That's also how the city got its Toronto sign. And there is Sukhothai, their original location, which is just north of here on Parliament Street, closed somewhat recently. So I'm not sure if this is a relocation of that or an all new location, but I'm sure it's welcome to the residents of this area. It definitely has a bit of a master planned community feel to it.
And for transit, you can't access the 504 King, which is just a block or so to the north of here. There's also the distillery loop, which we'll be walking past quite soon. And that'll lead me into the distillery district. See the western end of the foundry all boarded up just to the right there. There's the Lucy and Fulton Blackburn Conference Center. That's part of George Brown College. They've got a number of campuses all throughout the southeastern part of downtown. There's another one just to the east of here on King Street. And to the south, near Sherburn and Queens Key. There's where the old Canary restaurant used to be. That's where this neighborhood takes its name. And it's neat to see a new neighborhood emerge from an old industrial area. Although I can't say I'm a huge fan of how it's turned out. Like I mentioned earlier, it doesn't have an organic feel to it at all. And here is Cherry Street. And there goes a 504B King Street car that'll be heading to the Dufferin Gate. There goes a 121 Esplanade and River Street bus. I think that might be going all the way to Broadview Station if I'm not mistaken. And just to the south here is the distillery district. So this is currently as far east as you can go on the King Street car due to some work being done on Broadview. They're replacing the water mains. You have to head up to King Street and Hop off the streetcar and switch to the 504 slash 505 replacement bus. There is one, two, two riders and the operator on that streetcar. It's a rather small excavation site. It'll be interesting to see how all this turns out. Well, I have a feeling it'll 
feel kind of like more of the same of where we just were. And this should be Mill Street. And there's the distillery district. Road closed to local traffic only. So I'm going to cross the street and head on into the distillery district through the main entrance over there, or one of the three main entrances, I guess. And they're, they're holding their winter village. And that's replacing the Christmas market they traditionally run here. And that is Monday, or between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday after 4 p.m. You have to pay, I think it's $8 to get in to buy your ticket online. They might be doing some type of vaccination check here on the entrance. It should be free now. I'm going to try to get in. I might have to shut the camera down. I also have to put my mask on, but let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna have to scan a code here, enter my contact info and get in so bear with me for a moment i'm gonna end recording for a second and we're in that was a relatively simple process i just had to fill out one of those contact tracing forms after scanning a qr code and they checked my proof of vaccine at the door In we go. So we're gonna just go for a stroll around the distillery district grounds here. And hopefully not pick up a content ID match from all the Christmas theme music that's gonna be blaring. Okay, so. There'll be a few forks in the road here. There's the Mill Street Brewery. And a hot chocolate. Cafe Soma Chocolate Maker. So I guess one of the big appeals of coming here is at night when it's all lit up. So this here will lead us straight to the main courtyard. But yeah, let's do that and then I'll loop back. There's Pure Spirits, Oyster House and Grill. not many people <laughs> eating out right now, understandably. And by not many, I mean none. There's a specialty food merchant. And this sign here is quite famous. It's the love sign. down to Christmas, 18 days. All right, I have a feeling this music is gonna nail me. I might be 
quiet for the next few minutes as I end up replacing this music. But this is the main entrance off of Mill Street. And if you spin around, you usually get a pretty good view here. Candles, socks, gloves. There's yummy candles. Apple cider there. Some more snacks. And of course, the big tree. Kind of the main courtyard. It's kind of nice that it happens to be snowing while I'm here. In years past, I think they've had rides in this area. Some butter tarts. Organic sparkling tree water. There's Balzac's, a mainstay of the distillery district. And the prices are quite reasonable. All right, let's loop around this way. Pretzels, those look pretty good. Crepes. There's a neat Santa sled. Sniffany and Company. Kind of clever. The Opera Craft Theater and Dance. So straight ahead is the Mill Street Beer Hall. And in the summertime, at least during non-pandemic times, this area is usually full of people having a beverage outdoors. cheap to grab a drink here. So this is going to loop me right back to where I was. On Tank House Lane. This area looks familiar.
Hot donuts. Tacos. Okay, so I'm gonna head on out the other way now. I think there's a period from December 20th onwards where it is no longer free. Or at least not after four. You can find all that info on their website. There's the Thompson Landry Gallery. Hot cheesecake mini donuts. Real empanada. Fruit ham gourmet. Looks like those are sauces. That is pretty much it. I think it's a nice area to go for a stroll through, although I'm not really into those arts and crafts kind of things. It's definitely good to support local. I'm not sure why the actual Christmas market is not running this year. And they're doing this winter village instead. But to be honest with you, I can't really tell the difference. I think there used to be a Ferris wheel and some other rides and that type of thing at the Christmas market, but everything else looks pretty much the same. And here we are at Parliament Street. I wasn't really sure what to expect when I came this way for this one. Guess we gotta go through a maze to exit. Oh, I probably just could have walked out <laughs> where that guy was, oh well. I'll just slide through this convenient gap in the fence. And there you go, the distillery district. along Mill Street. And this is Parliament Square Park.
And here's the Esplanade. Maybe I'll walk a block or so to the west on the Esplanade. It's kind of a nice street. There is Market Lane Public School, junior and senior. And I think the forecast says we'll have snow flurries throughout the afternoon. I think we got hit by a heavier snowfall overnight. As I woke up and it was quite white outside. Back at some point in the early to mid 2000s, this was my neighborhood. I lived just to the south of here on Longboat Avenue. And I remember directing taxis to go south on Princess Street as Lyft and Uber were not a thing back then. Look at those or red painted lanes here. Those usually indicate a bus priority lane and they're often shared with cyclists, but it looks like there's a bike lane and a bus lane. Is local traffic not allowed to take that? Otherwise, I'm not sure why in a single laid road it's painted red like that. Well, there's no sign saying vehicles can't enter. All right, I'm gonna head north up to Front Street here and then I'm just gonna head east. There's a look towards the financial district. Santa Claus sighting.
still don't really have a plan from here. I just had the idea in my head to go from around Underpass Park through the Distillery District. Well, let's go left at front. And coming up should be George Street, and then after that will be Jarvis. And then the St. Lawrence Market. This is George. There's the McDonald's. I'm quite hungry. It's about lunchtime. I had a light breakfast. I basically got kicked out of my apartment. There's no power today between 10 and 2 p.m. And I had a thought to live stream, but when I saw it was snowing, I thought maybe I'll hold off on the stream till later, maybe later tonight or tomorrow. And there's the St. Lawrence Market. Better run, there's a timer counting down and a car trying to turn. There's a look down Market Street. <laughs> she waits till you 
walk past her and then she starts singing. I've seen her before. I've noticed that pattern. I kind of do that too sometimes when I'm talking. There's someone directly beside me. I'll be quiet for a bit. Here's a familiar site, the Flatiron Building, which is tied directly to the distillery district. As they are both from the same company, the Gooderham and Wartz Distillery. I was actually going to come back here at night and start a walk at Berksey Park and then head through the financial district and check out a lot of the Christmas lights. And I recently finished a walk at Berksey Park, one that went along Queen Street East in the snow. And I posted a members and or a YouTube channel members and Patreon video recently that started at Berksey Park in the snow and made its way east of the Union Station. So I don't really want to backtrack that route. I'm kind of hungry. I want to figure out some lunch plans. So I think this is a good place to end this one, probably. Let's look back at the Flatiron Building. So if you're getting deja vu, you're not crazy. About a week ago, I finished a walk right here. Although, like I said, that one went along Queen Street. Snap a photo with Barksy to win a $100 gift card. It's a clever way to get someone to submit some personal info. There's a look at the fountain. All right, I hope you enjoyed this walk that started at River and King and Queen, and then went through Underpass Park, the Canary District, through the Winter Village at the Distillery District, then the Esplanade and up to Front Street through the St. Lawrence Market neighborhood. And she is wearing high heels. They must be going somewhere fancy. The other guy's <laughs> chiding her over her choice of shoes. Well done, sir. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. I also have an Instagram account. And there's a link to PayPal if you wish to fire over a donation. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will catch you on the next one.